Each My MCERT module will include a section with questions based on key advances to the practice of emergency medicine. Though items on key advances will be included in each module, they will not necessarily share the same content topic as the module. Check ABEM's website for additional key advance resources, including synopses for each advance. To prepare for taking My MCERT modules, we recommend you take time to review and print the current key advance materials prior to taking your modules. Now, let's take a closer look at the key advance based on ASEP's clinical policy recommendation for critical issues related to opioids in adult patients presenting to the emergency department. ASEP clinical policies are developed by their Clinical Policies Committee, guided by processes in accordance with national guideline development standards. Recommendations made in this clinical policy follow Level B and C criteria. Level B recommendations are strategies with moderate clinical certainty, using evidence from one or more Class of Evidence II studies, or strong consensus from Class III studies. Level C recommendations are based on Class III studies or expert consensus. Please go to ASEP's website for more detail on these recommendations. Let's look at the opioid recommendations using patient scenarios. A 26-year-old female presents to the ED with opioid withdrawal. What is the most effective treatment strategy? Buprenorphine, methadone, or an alternative agent? Buprenorphine is the preferred option from level B and C recommendations. The B-level recommendation is to treat the patient with buprenorphine or methadone because these agents are more effective compared to non-opioid-based adjunctive management strategies such as clonidine. The level C recommendation is to preferentially treat opioid withdrawal in the ED with buprenorphine instead of methadone. You may calculate a clinical opiate withdrawal scale, or COWS, in the ED. If the score is 8 or higher, buprenorphine may be administered. Labs are not generally needed prior to administering buprenorphine. However, if the patient is on methadone, administer low-dose methadone in the ED as buprenorphine can lead to worsening withdrawal. Next, a 59-year-old male presents to the ED with acute left arm pain from a fall. Do the benefits of a short course of opioids outweigh the risks? The Level C recommendation is to prescribe non-opioid analgesic therapy. Treatment should include non-pharmacologic strategies as well. If opioids are considered necessary, then the lowest effective dose of a short-acting opioid for the fewest days indicated should be prescribed. The CDC and ASEP agree this generally means three days or fewer. Now, a 45-year-old female presents to the ED with severe pain from an acute flare-up of rheumatoid arthritis. Do the benefits of opioids outweigh potential harms? The Level C recommendation is to prescribe non-opioid analgesics in addition to non-pharmacologic therapies for acute exacerbations of non-cancer chronic pain upon discharge from the ED. If opioids are deemed appropriate, they should be prescribed at the lowest effective dose for the shortest possible time. Lastly, a 30-year-old male presents to the ED with lower back pain that started yesterday when moving heavy boxes. Do the benefits of prescribing short, concomitant courses of opioids and muscle relaxants or sedative hypnotics outweigh the harms? According to the Level C recommendation, it is not advisable to routinely prescribe opioids and benzodiazepines in combination or opioids plus other muscle relaxants to treat acute pain episodes. This is because, in part, the combination carries an increased risk of respiratory depression. Now, let's do a quick recap. Buprenorphine is safe and effective for managing opioid withdrawal in the ED. It is preferable to treat adults experiencing acute pain or exacerbations of non-cancer chronic pain with non-opioid analgesics and non-pharmacologic therapies. Finally, opioids and benzodiazepines should not be prescribed together. ASEP's clinical policies are not intended to represent a legal standard of care for emergency physicians. ASEP recognizes the importance of the individual physician's judgment and patient preferences. Learn more about MyMCERT and key advances at www.abem.org.